Well, once again, the administration is overreaching and imposing too many regulations that will do more harm than good. In the case of uh, the Waters of the United States rule, this is going to do particularly harm to Pennsylvania farmers. This is a rule that the administration is, uh, intends to implement, which will give the federal government control over basically all outdoor water, a, a puddle, a ditch, maybe even the water that runs off your car in your driveway when you wash your car. It's, it's ridiculous. The administration wants to control all outdoor water. They don't have the legislative authority to do that. And this is, there's bipartisan opposition to this over-the-top rule that is going to curb our farmers' ability to farm their own fields. Uh, look, we all want a clean environment. We all want clean water. We have this regulation at the state level. We don't need to give the EPA an additional regulatory overlay that's just going to cost a lot of money and prevent, um, well, a, a properly functioning agricultural sector of our economy. It'll destroy jobs. It'll hurt economic growth. And so we've got to push push back as hard as we can. The Pennsylvania Farm Bureau has uh, observed this is particularly devastating to Pennsylvania's family farms, which is the dominant kind of farm in our, uh, in our Commonwealth. So we're going to have a vote today to forbid the implementation of this rule. I think we're going to win that vote. I hope we will, and I hope the House will take it up so that we can send this to the President. Now, realistically, I suspect that the President will veto this because he wants this rule to go into effect. But we've got to push back on this administration when they overreach, when they exceed their legal limits, and when they're doing harm to the, their economy. So I'll be voting in favor of forbidding the implementation of this ill-conceived rule.